Many of you probably remember with great fondness going to State Fair when it was here where Innovation Campus is now. We thought this would be a great opportunity since we are going to be at State Fair in Grand Island to talk about what is old is new again. This applies not only to commercial buildings or institutional buildings, but of course to your residential landscape. And a lot of what's fun about this is to take a look at the elements that still remain, either build on them, clear the slate, or start over again. Of course, one of the things that remains is the Devaney Center, which has gone through a lot of renovations and upgrades, but many of you probably remember with fondness walking down that corridor, Tomain Alley, the Ferris wheel in the background, all of the midway, the sounds of the animals, the wide open spaces that were filled with all those great elements of the fair. A part of what happens in a landscape that becomes new again is you think about changes of use. And whether that is on a small scale at your own home, for a dog pen, for a change of family life, or for a great big commercial development, what you're going to use that landscape for makes a big difference in how you should think about taking it into the future. Of course, 4-H probably holds as many fond memories as any other building on this campus, including industrial arts. And there are two of the buildings that were saved during the construction of Innovation Campus. People might remember the landscape that was associated with 4-H. And a part of thinking about making what is old new again is to consider what was there before, figure out whether you want to take elements of that landscape into the new landscape, or at least make a nod toward that history. In this case, the 4-H building had a great display of Nebraska native plants, plants that would take the conditions that are pretty desolate against the building. In the case of Old State Fair, of course, there was really no irrigation, lots and lots of people coming through. But if you look at it now, it is a combination of a couple of our natives, the Baptisia, the Amsonia, there are some asters, there's some great rudbeckia, some blue stems, some plants that really are Nebraska natives mixed in with some of those newer varieties and cultivars. Landscapes for buildings that are old and going to be new again need to take a nod from the architecture. The building itself may be old inside, but it may have a very new contemporary skin. The uses, of course, as I mentioned earlier, can be certainly very, very different. We have new materials, whether it's pavement or even plant material with which we can work. In this case, you take a peek at, we have little blue stem and big masses and sweeps. We have some of the things like side oats grama, and then we have sprinkled into that some of the plants that are either more unusual or more common, maybe introduced, maybe exotic, and perhaps also native. So you take a cue from the architecture, you pay attention to the uses, masses and sweeps, make what is old is new again. 